From Anambra, the name of Anambra, that area, that is Dominic Axis, and all the local governments in that place are completely submerged once there's major flooding. Then it enters by us, and the entire state, the entirety of a state, I mean, we are not just talking of one local government or one senatorial district or one community. In the case of Bayelsa, so this. Incident of every time water is released from Lagdo, once that announcement comes, or at periods like this, is a major panic in the realm of Bayelsa. Because of the geographical location, which is no fault of our people, and the entire state is below sea level. The entire state is below sea level. There is no part that is upland, no part that is riverland. The entire state is is below sea level. So once it comes like this, all our communities, farmlands, everywhere is flooded. And we have to evacuate people. I'm asking you, where do you evacuate people and where do you take them to? In the whole state is flooded. So it's a major, major calamity. This was one of the terrible incidents that opened my eyes 2012, just when I had assumed my service as government. And it has continued. Last year alone, the flooding, the damage that this flood caused in this country to our infrastructure alone was estimated by agencies of the World Bank, not even by us, 
I read the report because I've been following of these things on the government. And it came to over $7.5 billion. $7.5 billion worth of damage. We are not talking of the loss of lives. So, Mr. President and my dear colleague, this is a very serious incident. To some states that are privileged to be upland by the virtue of their location in this country, it may be like a one in a off situation. But for us, it's something we live with on an annual basis. Thank you. Beyond calling for construction of just one dam. That dam, the dam in that Adamawa axis. There is, is a wonderful, wonderful initiative. But I think that this motion, we shouldn't be talking specifically about one dam. There is need for the major, major tributaries through which water empties into the Atlantic Ocean to be continually dredged. Like the river, the river when you get to Omisha now, you get to Bayasa, you meet river focados, and then the river known. There was an attempt during the Arab administration to do some dressing. But that has to be a continuous annual exercise to clear the debris. Because those waters are always the, 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 the basin is always, they leave a lot of deposit when this flood goes. So it's filtered, uh, what? Filtered, yeah, desilting. So we need to do a lot of that. So my, my, my suggestion, uh, Mr. President and my dear colleagues, because of the seriousness of this motion and the fact that it involves a lot of agencies and ministries of government. For example, the Ministry of Water Resources must be at the fore. If we are talking of dam construction and so on, I will suggest that we should set up another commission. Mr. Jefferson, you have one minute remaining. One minute is to suggest that we set up a joint committee of uh, water resources, works, agri, special duties, environment and ecology, and then foreign affairs. Therefore, we will continue Not for us to be prescriptive. Not at this point. Let them meet together and say, where and which dams can we take? What is the result of the scientific study that they have, which we now don't have? So let us get all the experts together and then interact and then we now begin to do something. Thank you very much. We don't have much time.